Hello and welcome to the STB Racing League Season 9 Singapore Grand Prix, round 15 of the season. And the season is definitely hotting up in this GP2 division. In the car box with me tonight again is TSR Cal. Uh, Cal, how are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? I am doing decent. We've got some very nice conditions ahead of us in both sessions. We've got, obviously, um, uh, a little bit of twilight action in qualifying and obviously afternoon to night time in a race. How do you reckon that is going to uh, shape up? We know Abu Dhabi is quite a nice event uh, for when it goes twilight, but what do you reckon about Singapore? Um, yeah, obviously this is usually a, a, a night race full stop, but to have the day in there will be fun. And uh, I think the drivers will find it quite cool racing through the conditions as well. Obviously Abu Dhabi is a popular track for it, so I'm sure this being a street circuit will be quite similar. Yeah, uh, the drivers did have it last season, so we've carried it over and it probably will be carrying over for the, for the GP2 division uh, next season. Uh, we're going to spectate Typhon Killer because he had a brilliant display in Italy, um, didn't he, uh, Callum? Yeah, he had a great display. He came out of nowhere, really, to finish. Uh, was it P2? Again? Yeah, P2. Yeah, he, he did a, managed to nail the strategy, got out on the lead, and then eventually got overtook by Fred Stirk because uh, he was on fresher and... Um, better tyres, so P2 was a great result. Yeah, P2 was definitely a great result for him, but uh, we are here in Singapore, and the championship, as I said before, is really hotting up. Uh, the gap is, but we've actually got quite a few drivers in the mix. We've got um, STB for Stappen 33 in the mix, who's so racing back here today, so he should be able to get some good points. Uh, Tyler Fex 99 out of nowhere, he's just came out and actually gone second in the championship, so he's, he's on course for getting an amazing uh, championship. Uh, finish, probably his best in the league. Um, and then we've got obviously Jack Hotwood, the Fredsters back in action, not that far off behind. Um, and yeah, and Dennis VKK as well. So we've got about five drivers at this moment in time are in a shot of the championship. Do you think, Callum, we could see a surprise um, in Singapore to really spice up the championship further? Um, like you said before the race, uh, the top five usual suspects looking on quite equal pace. So. Uh, I mean, it depends. I'm probably expecting Fredster or someone like that to win, but you never know what could happen with penalties, safety cars, incidents, perhaps. Because if they're all going to be closed, then they're all going to be battling. So anything can happen, really. So any one of these drivers has a chance of winning. Yeah, we actually seen in uh, Belgium uh, the league's worst turnout for both divisions of the season actually produced some of the best racing. We haven't got many drivers here in Singapore tonight. Callum, but uh, do you think that could um, hinder the possibility of um, really good racing, or do you think it will just be great again? Yeah, I definitely think I think it goes both ways really. Because the less there is, the the more possible it is for the pack to spread out and just have a boring race. Because obviously there's not as many cars to battle. But then the less there is means like the 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 front runners when they pit and then come out of the back. They're not necessarily going to be with back markers. They're possibly with, be with people like their own pace, so they won't have to fight through slower cars as much. Yeah, that, that's very true. I'm watching STV for Stappen Folk 3 right now, which is one of the many drivers that has uh, definitely impressed uh, people um, through his time here at STV. And he's looking very good on this super soft lap time. There are a few drivers, Callum, actually... Um, did um, complain about the sun last season. They went having mm. qualifying because obviously it's uh, cloudy. But do you think it's actually quite, as well as a privilege, do you think it's quite a nuisance for the drivers to actually have that sun for Singapore? Um, yeah, not because uh, in the race, I know in qualifying it starts at sunset, doesn't it? If I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily as bad in qualifying because it doesn't last very long, but in the race, because the race is longer and then it starts in afternoon, which is one click earlier, I think, then uh, yep. I think it I think it could get in the way because the, the drivers, although they've done Singapore already, in, um, the Twilight, not all of them have, but they, they won't be used to racing here like that, so uh, it could put them off since it'll be uh, visible for most of the race, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, we might. Fred Stavare goes P number one with a 141.295. He's definitely on the pace. A second head of 
STB for, STB for Stappen 33. But, Typhon Killer, even though Jack Hotwood has probably not done the best of lap times, he's probably backed on his lap. He's still P3. He's definitely shown um, some good pace in the last three races, hasn't he, Callum? Uh, who was that? Sorry? Typhon Killer. Typhon Killer. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I missed Belgium, but i uh, pretty sure he did it, got a good result there. But, yeah, he's been he's been looking solid. He's definitely up to pace. Uh, I'm sure he'll be looking to go one better here and take the win. Yeah, well, hopefully he can. Hopefully a lot of drivers, obviously, he, he likes racing around this track and in twilight conditions. So, yeah, I do keep going on about it, but it is a very, um, well, yeah, quite a privilege for the drivers to actually race around here because I don't think any of the leagues have it in the daytime. So, yeah, it's very, very special. But Leopard Bike now on a lap. He's actually had a podium in both of these races he's done in the league, so he's hoping for a, for a, a third time. Here and he's looking, um, he's looking decent on this lap. Not the best. He has said that this is his worst track on the calendar, so he's just hoping for a good result. But he did say that about Italy, and he came out. Yeah. Into, uh, he came, uh, finished in P3. So. so he's now coming through the second of the good sections where Adrian Sutil crashed in 2008, flipping the curbs here. There's actually been quite a few incidents in real life and in the league, Callum, um, yeah. in that bridge section where Sue took Ash 2008. Do you think it could um, be an issue for tonight? Yeah, his leopard bike completely uh, just destroyed the that Leopard corner. bike has to be careful here because the... Oh, and we see the cameraman. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, they're twins. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely can catch people out because even the slightest of getting it a bit late because... Because of how the corner actually runs, you go close to the wall on the right when you're turning left. You get as close as to the wall on the right you can to carry as much speed. So if you just brake mm. a little bit too early or a little too, bit too late, you can either turn in and hit the wall on the inside or you can go straight into the wall on the outside and potentially um, lose your wheel and be out of the race. Yeah, well, we definitely definitely could be expecting a few safety cars. But actually, there was quite a few collisions in last night's F1 division which caused drivers to uh, crash. Mm -hmm. We didn't see any safety cars, so. Buttons just started. Well, anything lap, can be different. He, sla he slammed the I wall, he got on the curb on the inside, onto the last corner. And I'm watching um, Denny's VKK right now, and he's Force India. Got a nice set of super soft compound tyres. Ready to destroy those rivals. He's got 29.1 in, in the first sector. I hate this track, I don't really take much notice of the tyres, but I think that's a very decent uh, first sector. Yeah, I've not league really raced in this game around here yet. Well, because he missed yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> but here we are coming through um, an, a new section, actually, Callum. I don't know. Oh, and Tyson Kelly's retired. New section. What do you think of this new section that they've um, they've built? Um, I dislike it. I much prefer the single bus sling because they've just taken the, the challenge and the fun that goes into that corner, and instead now it's just turning left and that, that's all you got to do really is Dennis is getting blocked here. But. Yeah, the walls actually um, came out a bit more on that section as well, so it like, oh, oh, it's um, moved in a bit, so it's actually quite hard now for the drivers to yeah. uh, not crash, so I think th th this track is a very special event to come to, obviously now it's night time with a bit of clouds in the sky, but uh, it's a very nice track to uh, come to every season, it's just um, it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. But Dennis VKK now into the pit lane, so. But uh, WR Button here, he's going to go into the pits as well, or he's going to go onto another lap, he goes into the pit lane, so. There you go, so all these drivers are in the pit lane, and um, Callum, P1 Fredstar, what's your take on that? Um, yeah, I don't think it's a real surprise. He did say he was off the pace, but he could have just been sandbagging by saying that, so. He's currently half a second quicker, but that is the Jammy James who's on super soft, so these drivers still got their ultra soft ones to do unless they're starting on super soft, so um obviously a lot more drivers got a set time, so DRL reactions now, currently on a lap. Well he's going on to a lap, sorry. And he's actually um came to me and I've seen his time trials and he's actually the quickest guy in the league around this track. So let's have a look at his lap time. Callum on board. Let's have a see. Let's see if he can yep. get into that P1 that he um, he needs to really show off his uh, his speed and 
And um Yeah, just his speed. Doing qualifying. I was about to say something cows then, but couldn't find the word and in qualifying all you need all you need is the speed so yeah. um, here we go then into down this little straight here i quite i quite like this straight with all, with these like uh lights as you end yeah. the first sector quite nice but drivers won't see that till about five laps from the end it, it the, the race is pretty much a full dry uh full dry but like it's full going to be full dry tonight but a full um day race so afternoon and sunset so like light glass so yeah drivers have probably been practicing in the, in the night haven't they Adam but yeah. get a surprise for those who haven't actually told it's a twilight race yet yeah it doesn't it doesn't tend to rain, rain here either so we're probably not expecting any rain although it is cloudy on the feed in fact no it's meant to rain towards the end of the session uh, it's meant to start cloudy in the race and then it's, it's raining sunny. it's raining wow it's raining. that was so ironic I literally just said it's not going to rain and it starts raining it's raining. It is raining here in Singapore. So, yeah, this is interesting. DRO reactions here now on a lap. This could be his only opportunity to nap to snatch that pole position off the Fredster right now. I don't know if you're watching him, Callum, but he's yeah. not on a very good lap right now. And he's cut the corner. And he's the cut ball. the corner here in Singapore. He has cut the corner. The fastest driver from time trials. He, he's now going on to another lap. But it looks like the rain is definitely falling heavy. So he's going to have to nail this or he's going to start out the top ten. Could have a premature end to the, um, the session right now. This is the shootout essentially. He, he's hit the wall. Yeah. Reactions has hit the wall, so he's not going to be able to. Yeah. So um, there you go. Looks like it's over for reactions. As he is down in P10. So what I, what I can establish from reactions is it's either not raining on his screen because he's carrying on, or he's just not. He, he just cracked. Or he cracks under pressure because he obviously it's raining so he has to get a lap in he's just hit the wall so i'm not sure fair actions but hopefully he can pull it back in the race mm. everyone seems he to be coming up all up now but i don't think anyone's going to improve side effects p3 i think this is the top 10 you know no one everyone's gone like two seconds quicker though a sex a uh, slower sector Dubiar Putton, Dubiar Putton's crashed. Dubiar Putton yep. out, out of qualifying. Yeah. I think I think this is the grid. This, it's not going to improve. Jamie James is in second place. Leopard Bike is in ninth. Reactions is in tenth. Dennis eleven. Vinci twelve. Dennis VKK down in 11. So all the this grid is actually very mixed up, and this is the sort of thing about these street circuits, isn't it, Callum? It's very easy to, um, you know, mess up, and it's really easy to get a really mixed up grid. Yeah, uh, especially when it starts to rain as well. It, uh, you kind of yeah. just have to get your lapping quickly because uh, you can't really rely till the end of the session on the street circuits because as WR Button just loses his wheel, you can't rely on on the end of the session because. The walls are so close, it's so easy to hit a wall, so you have to do a lot up as quickly as you can. Yeah. Leopard bike here on a set of super soft compound tyres, and he's, he's um, going for a lap right now. Yeah, he's three seconds down and set to one. I don't know why these drivers are still carrying on, to be honest. There's no way he's going to finish this lap, surely. No. Yeah, so Leopard bike goes into the pit lane, so yeah. Oh, and he misses it. That's not going to be good for him Dennis in the race. Dennis has just started a lap for some reason. So, Dennis, let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at his sector one time. See if he's a superhero and goes purple. Best, no, super, session best 28. He's nearly 10 seconds 35. down. So, yeah, this this looks like the grid. First, the Fredstar. Fredstar pole position, but side effects 99 in P3. Interesting. Jamie James, P2 on super soft. James E. Bear on a set of intermediates. He, he, I can see him. He's put on a set of inters. Why though? No idea. But it's obvi he's obviously not going to go quicker. Leopard Bike has put in the chat. I'm so done. I didn't get a lap in. So he's he's not happy with his qualifying display here in Singapore. And yeah, P9. He's yeah. not happy. A lot of quick drivers not able to get a lap and starting from yeah. the back. Down at the back, yeah.
Yeah, then it's just... I like it how one... I like it how one person... Sorry, Callum. I like it how one person has actually retired from this Grand Prix. Yep. Dennis is 8 <laughs> seconds down in Sector 1, 13 seconds down in Sector 2. So I don't know why he's still going for yeah, this. He's it's going to be a stellar lap here right from now. Dennis 3KK. Although he is 11th, so if he does sell a lap, it will put him 8th. I see why he's doing it, to be honest. Still a lap here from Denny's VKK. Should put him 8th if he finishes it. No, he's going to stop P11. Free choice of tyres. Yeah, it'd be stupid if anyone tries to get in the top 10 now, actually. On uh, dry tyres. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got a minute and 30 seconds of the um, qualifying remaining. And this could well be your grid. DRL reactions on a set of intermediates right yeah, now. So he's, he's trying, trying to actually... Eight. Typhon Killer must be well happy with his qualifying. He, he binned it, he says, and he's into P5. He must be well happy with that qualifying. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look yeah, at DRL reactions. He's the only driver at the moment. Let's see what the intermediates he's like. There has to be some vote for retires. So, yeah, Callum, what we can see here is really, you know, definitely catching the drivers out here. And, um, yeah. Yep. Oh, Street seven circuits drivers. living up to their reputation. I mean, seven drivers have managed to settle that so far. Reactions will do a lap. He's the only one that's going to do a lap. Jamesy Bear is going to do a lap, but he's not going to improve from seventh. No way. Yeah, DRI Reactions is on a set of intermediates right now, so... Yeah, he's going to put himself eighth if he completes his lap. Oh yeah, because only seven people have set a lap. So yeah, dear action. Yeah. So all you gotta do is finish it. All you gotta do is finish your lap, Callum Missy saying, and there he is, P8. Much better than P10. Yep. Yeah. And of course still, he's still doing his lap on inters, so he will get a free quite choice of tires anyway. Yeah. James E. Bears off the track here, so he's given up on his on his lap time. So it's uh, dear action is down for P8. Bit of um, controversy in the, in the um, chat and see him. People are calling Fred Fred Star uh, lucky. Mm, I wouldn't call it lucky. I'd call it just him getting his lap done first. Him being smart. Well, that's what you did. It's not, it's not luck. That's what you said. You definitely had the pace as well. So. Yeah. It's not about luck. Ah then. Here we go. DRL reactions. Looks to it. I don't know if it's just me, but he looks really slow. And the track doesn't even look wet, probably because it's night. Mm, but... Yeah, it never seems to look wet when it's night time. For some reason, there's no spray or anything in the night. I'm well, not an intermediate, uh, intermediate conditions anyway. I don't know if it's just me, but the light does reflect really nicely onto the uh, tyres. Really nice. Yeah. Track so well lit up. That's why. Yeah. Oh, here we go then. Coming on to finish his lap off the Marina Bay Street Circuit, and he goes P number eight. So your grid, very interesting grid. Your grid. For the Singapore Grand Prix goes, first is the Fred Star, second is ja uh, Jamie James M, third is Side Effects 99, fourth is Steve Stappen 33, fifth is Tarvon Keller, sixth is Jack Cotwood, seventh is Jamesy Bear X1, the only guy to, uh, the final guy to set lap on six, and then eighth is DRL Reactions on a set of Inters. Then ninth is uh, DRL Button, tenth is Leopard Bike uh, 45, eleventh is Dennis VKK, and running up the back of the grid is DRL Vinci. Uh, Callum, if you'd like to leave the session, you can join back very shortly. Yep, let me know when to join back. In fact, no, don't let me know when to join back. Let me know when to go and spectate. Okay. So, Callum, um, we can see, obviously, from there that it's just been an incredible, incredible um, 
qualifying there. Very surprising. Do you think Fredster can get the win? Because cause I do. Uh, I think he's put himself in a good position because his main rivals seem to be lower down the grid towards the back. So they're going to have to fight their way through an already quick grid. So they're going to have to... The um, they're gonna have to, they're gonna be busy and it's not gonna necessarily be easy to overtake anyone either. Okay, well I've sent you the invite, so I'll just spectate in a few moments. Um, so yeah, Singapore, normally a night race. Today it is a afternoon two two night Grand Prix, a twilight race. Kind of lots of things can happen. We've seen so much so much action last season. Do not to com um, complain it, and yeah, I'm Could not going to expect it. You can if you if you want to, Callum. It's going to be incredible. The transition from afternoon to sun uh, set is going to be incredible. The sun looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, let's see how we do here in Singapore. Drivers look to be very um, happy as well this week with their uh, practices and their uh, runs that they've done. So hopefully, longest race of the season, they live up to be one of the best. Green light for the formation lap. Yeah, so we're just in in time. So all drivers have to do it properly, remember. And that four and Red Bulls just dived up the inside of everyone. That Red Bulls completely... So yeah, but, uh, Callum, we only have uh, 12 people in this lobby. Interesting. Uh, 12 drivers racing, but still, it could still be an incredible Grand Prix. Yeah, this Red Bull is driving off right now. No idea who it is. Stappen, maybe? Yeah, no, he's not in the Red Bull. Who's in the Red Bull? Whoever it is, he's caught in every corner. Uh, you're in the race, by the way, Aaron. Am I? I'll have to... Um... I'll have to retire then. Well, obviously you're going to be looking at the... Um, hopefully you won't have to retire, so... I can't work out with you. I can't... Goes. I can't see a red ball. Oh, it's WR button. button. W yeah, he's way ahead. He's drove off, that's why. Go spectate him. He's way ahead of everyone. He just drove off and caught every corner at the start. Oh, OK. Well, I'll have to see how he gets on in the Grand Prix. Very weird driving there from him. Yep. So yeah. Look at me catching up to the Arrow Vinci. Pretty good that. <laughs> okay then. Uh, Jamie James right now in P2. I'm definitely rooting for him to get a good result here. But between me and you, Cal between me and you Callum, Fred Star, I think he's definitely got this one in the bag. Yeah, I think so. I have to take something pretty spectacular from the back of the grid to win this race. Yeah, but side effects as well. You know, he's one of the rivals. You know, at this moment in time, side effects is not really worrying about Fred. He's just worrying about beating SP for some folks free, Dennis VKK, um, Jack Hotwood, all those drivers around him that are actually around him at the moment. All that's all he's thinking about. If he gets podium here today, that's more points. Um, that's more points that he's got over his rivals and more opportunities to really fight for this title. Yeah. As they're coming round now to line up. Button's been sat on the grid a long time. Yeah, well, <laughs> serves him right <laughs> for in some very weird driving. But anyway, here we go. Side effects 99 lining up into P number three now when we're getting ready. Callum, final predictions. Is it going to be Fredster? Yeah, Fredster all the way. Start to finish. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm going to have to retire, but here we go then. It is lights out. five lights, and away the drivers go here in Singapore. Fred's got a great, great start. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have a look at the start. That effects are on the outside ball. of the Red Bull. That effects is into P2. Side effects. Look at that. Great start for the Mercedes. Definitely using those ultra soft um, compound tyres to his advantage there. Got STP for 33 now. Oh, Danny P4. About five cars on the wall. McLaren was involved. McLaren was involved. Button there in the we'll wall. That's Karma for not doing the formation that properly. Side effects 99 leads the drivers after Fred Stapp. He's got James E, SP733, Tom Color, and DRL reactions all over the back of him now. Side effects must be absolutely pooing himself right now as he nearly hits the wall here. 
And looking at the sun, the sun could set here about lap, maybe lap 12, lap 13, lap 14, maybe around that time. So we're yeah. going to have to wait, wait for that uh, moment. But here we go, Callum. It's looking very exciting here. There's ja Jammy James here behind side effects. But what a start from side effects there. Bit of contact with the wall from yeah. SUV, SUV fan 33 might want to put in broadcast mode. It's quite good to see all three drivers here. And the Toro Rosso now will be inside. There are reactions up into P4, but he, he's locked up. He's overcooked it. He's overcooked on the apex there. And he goes on to that little dirt mod. And then the Red Bull there. Red Bull into P3. Got the Toro Rosso coming through now. So the bit of lag from the Red Bull there. But oh, great action here in Singapore, yeah. Adam. Yeah, from about very third close. to eighth. Very close together right now. Battling it out. So it's not the easiest track to overtake up, but it's definitely possible. Leopard P7. Vinci P8. So at the moment, Side Effects is doing well to beat his rivals around him. Verstappen's Great got Torosso all over the back of him. Reactions on the inside. Here we go. Reactions is going to go up the inside for P number four. Verstappen's going to have to try and hold it. Ran the outside. He's done it. He's on the curb right now. Ran the outside of the Torosso. Torosso has the inside line, but no, he can't do it. He's going to have to defend from the, from the Mercedes here of Leopard Bike. But great overtaking move from Giro Reactions. And STB, STB Verstappen must be hoping, well, must be wishing that he had DRS this lap. Yep, Leopard bike, side by side. A Leopard bike now, yeah, ready to pounce on the Force India. And let's have a look, he's going to drive around the outside with Ultra Soft Compound tyres. He goes on to the, he's going to have to, if he, does, if, get, if he gets through, like, it's a legal overtake, as he did track extend there, so you will have to let him through. He's got back And ahead. side of, SB Zambrover is up the inside and he's nearly put Leopard bike in the wall there, so close. The P5 of the Singapore Grand Prix. This is so... Oh, this is so good. Here we go. P5 for um, STB, STB for Stappen 33. And Leopard Bike is all over the back of him on these ultra soft compound tyres. Oh, Callum. Great race so far. Yeah, very good racing right now. Especially from... Well, seems to be spreading out a bit now. But Verstappen... Leopard Bike, yeah. Break. Leopard bike, bike goes around, so he's going to have the inside for the next corner. Sorry, Callum, oh, he's derby, but he's, at, he's locked on to his, uh, to his side pod now. The Toro Ross is going to get in the action. Leopard bike has to give him the room here through this tight section. And Leopard bike now has to stay patient before the first sector comes up again for the third time in this Grand Prix. Goes onto the curb right now. And it, this is so lit. <laughs> I don't even care if I'm using that language. This race is so lit so far. Leopard bike's going um, to the rest of as well. Yeah, so here we go, Leopard Bike, and the SP Zappens hit the curb there. But remember this, Leopard Bike is on um, the more durable tyre, so you will have to pick earlier than Verstappen. But Verstappen definitely not giving up without a fight. Here is on the inside, oh. there's been a bit of contact. Nearly massive Hulkenberg incident here, and he's got um, a he's got, um, McLaren. Vince is in the pit lane, Vince in the pit lane. Drop, stop and go penalty, it looks like. Jack Holt is going to get in the action now, Callum. Yep, Jack Hopper. Leopard Bike's got DRS. Let's see if he can get the overtake done. Around the outside. Brooke Lee. He's gone he's off the track again. again. He's done it again. Yeah, he's gone off the track again. So he's going to have to let through for Stappen here. As he goes by. Yeah, it looks like he's done that. Looks like he did lift off a little bit there. They're driving here from Leopard. Jack Hopper's just um, behind them looking to see where the incidents are. You just keep an eye on this. There's a nice battle going on. It looks like Jammy has got the overtake done on side effects right now. So I'm going to keep an eye on this cal uh, battle, Callum. You just keep an eye on that battle right now. I will. Left the bike still behind him. In his slipstream. DRL reaction is going for the overtake on side effects. But side effects closing Leopard's off on the inside. there. There's been a bit more contact wheel banging. Nothing big though. Adam, there's so many, there's there's two major battles right now in this Grand Prix. Yep, Jack's now right on the back. Three-way bite it, battle here for fifth place. Stappen will be feeling the pressure with two quick drivers right behind him. Leopard's going to be in the DRS here. Stappen's gone off the track again. Same corner. Reactions looks to be very quick beyond side effects, but you just can't get a uh, overtake done. Just going to check that out, Callum. They've got DRS. Callum, side effects is getting DRS down the straight by DRL reactions. 
And he, he's doing some great defending right now. He's definitely want to keep that position. The sun starts to set very slightly. Great That's great of taking outside. the outside. Yeah, great move from reactions there. So now next up he's jamming. But look at the sun. It's starting to uh, Leopard bike set is past beautiful. Verstappen. Verstappen's going around the outside. Best move Verstappen is trying to go around the outside again. Three laps inside in a row. for this corner. This is battle of the season right now. Leopard bikes on the inside. Let's move Verstappen's going to hit the wall, but Leopard bikes going to be on the inside now. Leopard bikes going to be on the inside of the corner. And so SP Sampo free. He's hit the wall. No, he's gone off the track. And Jack Hobart's got the position. Jack Hobart off into P6. And Verstappen down into P7. Oh, action every lap of this Grand Prix. And my voice is so high, it's insane. Verstappen's going to be in the slipstream and Jack now. See if he can make a move. He looks a bit too far back. Yep, yeah, this race has been so entertaining so far. Side effects is dropped off. Reactions a lot in the space of half a lap. Jamie James yes, is in P2 still. He's having a great race. So good right now. There's actually not been that many collisions, I don't think. No, Fred's is running away with this, that's predicted. Typhon Kill is yeah. in ninth, Dennis is in eighth. Stappen in the flip stream now, DRS. Well Typhon Kill is a ghost, Typhon Kill has lost the position to Vinci. Looks like he's got some problems with his controller. Stappen's gonna be in the slip stream down the straight. DRS open. Side effects. He's in the pit lane, Callum. He's gone to a set of the, the soft compound tires. Got the inside. Verstappen's made the move. Jack's hanging it around. Jack's on the inside now. A bit of Ooh. contact. So close Still here side by in side. Singapore. That Sunny's definitely going to be um, a hint. A hint. Endurance. Still side by side. The whole yeah, that sun's definitely right gonna now. not be good, but so as we have vote free, but Jack Hobart's gonna try to go around the outside, he's gonna go on the inside for this corner. This is so good. STV Verstappen 33 keeps the position. This is incredible. This has been the most action packed five laps in the history of STB. <laughs> there is side by side for the whole Jesus. Of that so good. This is what we want here in Singapore. The midst of the corner much aggressively than STB for Stappen vote for it. I need to think of a better name for him because it's it's too it's, it's like a tongue twister saying STB yeah. STB for Stappen vote for it. It's quite um, quite hard to say. Yeah. Jack Hotwood though is going to try and get up to him, but remember these. The, uh, remember as you can see as well, uh, for Stappen is on a set of the super subs, and Jack Hotwood is on a set of the ultras. So obviously at the moment, there you go, isn't it? Yep, I think I've only driven this track once in this game, and that was for a co-op race, so I have no idea what strategy is over. But my, strategy, my, my strategy last night was a uh, one-stop pass. Started on softs and then mm. went on a set of uh, super softs, but remember, it's different times of day, so yep. not completely sure how that's going to work. has got around that three and a half second lead, three second lead right now. Gammy's caught him up a little bit. I guess Fred will be taking it easy though. Yeah. He's nice that it's uh, so ultras as well, so he's going to be doing more pit stops. Jamie could well do that one stopper. Could well do that one stopper. Side effects is coming to the Same back of Vinci now. Got DRS open. Not going to be close anymore. I'm going to set us off. Just... Bit of lag. Yeah, this uh, sun is setting much earlier than I thought it would. You can, you can just see it, Callum, can't you? Yeah. In the uh, corner of the sky. Definitely going to be a. Um, oh, going to be very annoying in around five, six laps' time when it starts going down even more. I thought that was a car. Did you see that little, like, um, reflection there? No. On the wall, we look like a car. Oh, someone's. Left Typhon over. Killer! Typhon Killer, what's happened to him? I have no idea. No, Typhon 
kill us out of the Grand Prix. No. Well, he was looking to go one better, and he's gone about 50 times worse. Yeah. Someone else? And James is gone as well. What's happened here? James is out of the race as well. Well, if you finish the race, you get points. Yep. <laughs> Side effects. Wow, Fred Stone. Yeah, this race does seem very boring. One of, one of the races which does seem quite boring. Yeah, everyone's kind in, of settled in, uh, out now. In, in Leeds, yeah. Someone else? Uh, he left that guy who uh, retired. Oh. But yeah, very, um, very confusing. So, the Fredster Cannon, what's your take on his race so far? Um, he's done everything he needs to do, do, really. Pulled off, managing the gap to jam me behind him. Staying at around three seconds. I think he's got this one in the bag. He's going to be managing his tyres. Um, I'm 100% I'm sure he knows what best strategy is as well, so I think that he's got this one easily. Definitely. I did say he was around 8 tenths off reactions, but I think that might have been a lie. Someone else retired? No, he's left the game. I know two people are retired, but I've seen three notifications though. I'm not sure I'd have to say but um, here we go then uh, Fredster is in P number one he's definitely doing what uh, as you said before and Jack Hot was in the pits so yeah Fredster's doing what he needs to do in this Grand Prix yep everything he's doing it right Jack Hotwood, he seems very um not I'm not sure of the word Callum but he Every race he does, he seems to be in that like P5, P4 position. Yeah, he's just lacking, um, I don't know if it's the pace or the luck to get in the top three right now. Um, seems to be hovering out in the mid-pack all the time, so... Yeah. We know he has the pace to get up to the front. Yeah, definitely. So then, here we go. Jammy in P number two. Don't know who that is in front. Who that is in front of him? But it's like he's lapping someone, or I think maybe. Oh wait, there a minute. I swear, Jammy is like right up to Fresta right now. Um, he was 3 seconds, it's now 2.3, so he's closed a bit. 1.9. He closed yeah, a bit. Yeah, Fraser's Ultra's going to be going off though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Fraser's Ultra's going to be going off right now. Yeah, Fraser might come into the pits this lap. I expected him to. I'll be trying to, I'll be trying to stretch them out as much as possible to try and do that one stop, because he knows Jammy could easily do it. Yep, I think Jammy is on for a one stop. I don't think Fredster can do it though. Leopard bike in for Stappen 33 right now. In a battle. Yep. Let's see how this looks. These two have been battling all race as well. They were, they were the ones that went side by side for ages. Yeah. Reactions will hopefully catch them up. Great DRS. Looks like it's going to be a straightforward move. Yeah, straightforward, yep. Leopard. It'll be, yep, straightforward move there for Verstappen. Got better tyres, better grip, better speed. Popping to P at number three. Already pulling a bit of gut to him as well. So, yeah, the, these people that started on softs and super softs, just got quite, quite a, you know, not, not that f uh, much for you, but, uh, um, yeah, quite a few there. Um, Press their tyres definitely going to be much better. But look at well. Jammy right now. Look at Jammy James. He's in DRS zone of Fredster right now. This is very exciting for him. I think Fredster has to put really Dennis, three seconds. Dennis has gone as well. What's happening here? Dennis is out of the race. Is at the wall. Damage. God, we're losing. 
He's staying out. That's a bad decision. Yeah, terminal damage from Dengs VKK. So loads of drivers here out of the Grand Prix. And yeah, got Fox is doing. He's using like three seconds of lap right now, so. He's probably trying to, um, probably knows he's got the pace, trying to go as far as possible to try and do that one stop, as I said before, Callum, but, yeah, but it's not working for him, he's using too lap, much time. I think he should have. Yeah, especially, a different one. especially as it's Singapore, the longest race on the calendar as well. Yep, Jeremy's going to take the lead here, surely. It's a right, really nice, nice. <laughs> must yeah. say. He's not managed to do it, he's going to go up the inside, no. Press that keeps the lead right now. Yeah. Quite an interesting race so far. First five laps were full of. Even though we've only got eight people left, Callum. Still quite interesting. Still very interesting. Definitely going to be interesting in the, in the late stages of the Grand Prix when everyone's going to be on separate, separate uh, like different strategies again. Like, Jammies obviously could, well, obviously, well, probably be on the softs. Fred's also maybe on the softs, maybe even on the supers, maybe going for a two stop bath. You know, all these drivers doing all these mixed strategies can be. Be very interesting. And I'm also looking forward, Callum, to where Fredster's actually going to come out in, but like what place? Around side effects, around Jack Hotwood even maybe. You know? Yeah. But he's doing a good job of defending right now. So. Got someone leaving. Oh, Fred's has nearly been it. His tires are completely gone, he needs to pit. He's just yeah, he's yeah, just letting, letting through. through. Let's have a look at Fresh's pit. And Fresh has got a punch out. Yeah. Fresh has a punch yeah, out here in Singapore. Fresh has a punch out here in Singapore. He's definitely going in the pits now. He's gone over he's, the line. He's nearly missed it. Very slow entrance into the pit lane. Let's see what tyres he will go on here in Singapore. He's tried. He's going on softs. But that's definitely lost him a lot of time to jamming. Leopard bike up into P3. He's on. He's also on ultras. He hasn't. I think Fred has bowled this race. Callum, Leopard bike right now. P3 has not pitted on a set of ultra softs. Uh, he's going to have to pit. Fred has got a puncher from it. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to see, but. Impressive. He's got an extra lap and ties up quite decent. Jack Coward behind Side Effects 99 right now. And he's stuck him out! Side Effects has turned into Jack Coward there. Wait, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Callum. Alright, good. Yeah. Uh, Jack Coward there, collision with Side Effects. He, side Effects has turned into him. Yes. Sorry, what? What? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, Callum, um, Jamesy, uh, not Jamesy, sorry, uh, Jammy James right now, leading the Grand Prix, what? Could he win? Could he get his first win in STB? Yeah, I think he has. I think he, he could get this, especially since Fred's they got a punch of. I think this, uh, this might yeah. be easy for Jammy now, but I don't know. Everyone's going to be on different strategies. So it looks nice. Will be interesting towards the Stapping end. Stapping 33. 20 seconds. Yeah, it's definitely going to be quite close near the end. Leopard bike, P4. Leopard's in He's the pits. He's dropped a position. Let's have a see where he goes. Been overtaken by Fred Stapp, but he wasn't really racing him, to be completely honest. So... So look, he's gone on set of softs, but he's got, he's got to stop and go penalty him. Leopard has a stop and go penalty, Callum. So yeah. Losing even more time. Torosso's 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 in the pit, mate. That That's that Vinci, I think. Yeah, it's Vinci. Yeah, Vinci's in the pits. The super softs at night went around 16 laps, so maybe in the day it could go a little bit longer. Not quite sure though. I have to see. Fred's the P4. Definitely got the pace on. And Vincey down in P8. Not had the race that he needs here. 
But Callum, yeah, it's definitely going to be a investigation in the um, in the Shears office tonight yeah. for side effects and Jack Cotwood. Did you catch that on stream or? No, unfortunately not. I thought I thought they were separated, but okay. I just caught them, and then it happened. So. Fraser here looking very quick. I still think he should have came in off earlier. We'd have avoided that punch you. Yeah. Well, reactions now behind uh, Verstappen. The top three have not pitted, except from reactions. Wait, reactions done pretty well. Adam, he's done a pit stop and he's, he's in P3. Yeah, reactions. Oh wait, you could win this race then. Is Jamie behind him? Yeah. Wait, no, Jamie's in second. No, Jam Jamie's in first. Oh, okay. Reaction has definitely got the pace. He's now he's going to try and pounce on Verstappen. If he goes around the outside. Yeah, he's going to try it. He's going to try it. But he's going to, yeah, he's going to have to keep it in the white lines. He does so. Or pinta P2. Yes. Right, I'll take your move there from Toro Rosso. That's Sun Callum. Love it. Yeah. Brings so much. I'm not sure. It just brings so much. Just... I don't even know. It just brings everything to this to this event that we never really had before. Because it's quite boring only having a night race. Night race is still really good as Verstappen, dangerously close to the wall there. Did you see that, Callum? Yeah, you're very close. Dangerously close to the wall there. He needs to watch out could there. Could have ended for, um, horribly wrong. Could have ended his race. At the moment, he's got a good few points over side effects and Jack Hotwood. Where he, where he is at the moment. And yeah, obviously, he's, he's in the championship fight. So. Right now, with a good lead as well. Yeah. Gap to Fred Stat, 23.9 seconds to Jammy. Uh, Jammy James. Wait, so. Jammy's pitted? Jammy's 20 seconds ahead of second. Jammy's, Jammy's pitted? No, DR, DRL Reactions is pitted. Wait, is Jammy not pit? Oh, Jammy started on supers, doesn't he? Okay, that explains. Reactions has pitted them, which is yeah, I mean, quite impressive. should be pitting around now then. Going soft to the end. Mm. Vincey, a minute 12 seconds behind the leader. <laughs> I bet Leopard Bike ain't used to be in this far back in the league. Minute and three minute, uh, minute and three seconds. Very spaced out, Callum. Let's hope Malaysia's better next week. Yeah, hopefully a bigger turnout. Yeah, hopefully. Obviously, because of exams and, and stuff, we can't really have many. Don't really have many turnouts, but from around Japan, I think we're gonna have much better. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. So Callum, not much happening, uh, no. but I'm just gonna we're just, we're just we're just gonna have a look at this um, th th these helmets now, okay? Start with the leader, I guess. Yeah, so we're gonna start with Jamie James. We've got it right there, that 15. So it looks very nice here in Singapore. But uh, Callum, what do you think of Jamie James's uh, helmet? Uh, well, it's quite an interesting design. Uh... I'm gonna give it a good rating of um, probably the worst helmet I've ever seen. Um, oh, okay. I, I, the colours just don't work together. I'm, I'm so sorry that they, they just don't work together. Especially not with that design. Especially with the uh, Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, with the Red Bull. Okay. Well. Reactions then. He, he hasn't got a custom helmet, but let's just have a look at how nice this helmet actually is. Like. Yeah, I think it's Carlos. Is it Kvyat? Yeah, 26 is Kvyat. Wow, there you go. Quite nice helmet there. Fred Star, what do you think of his helmet? Um, quite basic, really. I would have gone for like a, a black or something instead of a blue to match the McLaren, but it's not, it's not the worst. 
which is decent, I guess. Side effects of the Lewis Hamilton helmet. Yeah. And then going, going out there. P4. Yeah. I'm not too Jack good on Jack's helmet either. No, not, not happy with that. No. Not sure why he has a white and blue helmet, but... What's the point? I don't know. The Stappen, though, I've always liked his helmet. Matches the car, looks good, design works well. I swear that's not a custom helmet. That is. That's a custom, custom helmet. helmet? Yeah, you can tell it's a custom helmet by the number on his car. Number four. What's the number? Four. Oh. <laughs> so thick. Leopard yeah, bike. It's a custom helmet. Um, leopard bike. Uh, what no, golden, bright red. Does it? Does it? Does it do it for me? It, it looks decent for me. Vincey. Uh, that's Carl Sainz's helmet. So uh, gonna go with. Oh. Uh, yep, yeah, nice. <laughs> nice helmet there. We are done. As so yeah, Danny's I reckon. Danny's bit here. I reckon best helmet. I'm gonna say the stacking. Yeah, for Stappen, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay then. Reactions, P number one, lap 16 of this Grand Prix. This was when it started to get a little bit boring for me. Um, and I know it's it's quite boring. Yeah, I think we have a boring race from now to the end, to be honest. Half race distance. Um, but yeah, Callum, I don't know if you've seen, but obviously we had the um, concert on Sunday. Yep. Um, what, what, what was your take on that? It was a good, uh, I, good celebration of... I, I loved it, to yeah. be honest. Like, it's just it's amazing to see after all the horrible... Um... Oh, are we on about the Manchester one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was amazing to see after all the recent events. It just shows that to all like, the terrorism groups that for evil will never win. Like, if it, 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 they're... they're they're doing that and it's only bringing us closer kind of thing you know they're trying to divide us but it's yeah. it's not going to work it never will and that, that's just proof okay. 55,000 people yeah and all those millions probably watching on yeah all across on the, the world. TV yeah, oh, oh. yeah yeah it was quite good um, but we're here in Singapore I don't think there's going to be any terror attacks here because it's a very small island but it's a very um, very beautiful place isn't it uh, Callum Singapore yeah, definitely, and especially with uh, how, how well this track's designed. Like, not just the layout, but the layout is good, but everything around it, like the buildings, the lights, the skyscrapers. It's just... The sun right now. Yeah, it's just an amazing <laughs> Grand Prix. Shame we're not getting any action, really. Yeah. Well, we could be getting some action in a minute when Jack Hotwood catches up to side effects. That could be a little lover's tiff right there after the... Uh, events happened uh, earlier in the Grand Prix, so we just have to keep an arm at them. Yep. And Fred stays 1.4 seconds behind um, reactions. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll have to wait yeah, okay, we're going to Malaysia thing. next. An another quite uh, small country or island, whatever. Um, yeah. What, what, what's your opinion about the three? of like Asian tracks that are here, Singapore, Malaysia and Japan. What, what's your opinion on the three back to back? Um Asian I think, I think, I, I think it, first of all it's easier for since the back to back it's easier for to the teams to get around so it's um, it's not difficult but I think I, I this isn't the best layout of track but it's a great uh Grand Prix purely because of everything around it. But with Malaysia, I think it, it, it's a great track purely for the amount of overtaking you can get. And then obviously Japan is just a legendary track and always will be. Um, so many yeah. iconic moments have happened there, so I think it's good to see all of them in a row. Yeah, and then we go to the Americas. It's uh, yeah. got a good amount, of, got some good races coming up and a good way to end, which has been quite a um, mixed season. Yeah, definitely. I believe it's going to be it's James been a very mock season. P3. Yeah. Lap 17. Things were really good from like lap 1 to lap 6. Like everything was happening, and now it's like 
Okay. <laughs> we moved yeah. to Malaysia. You know? But yeah, it looks like the sun is um, looking to be falling ever so slightly every more, uh, even more every lap. Yep, uh, top reactions. Fresh is getting closer to reactions now. Jammy's getting closer to both of them. Side effects got Jack right behind him. Right behind Jack is the stopping, so it looks like we're going to see some action. Yeah. Oh, Jammy! Jammy's got no, it's lag. Oh. Oh, it's getting so hot. Oh, I, thought, I thought Jack crashed. God. Wait, when did Jammy pit? Uh, he, Wait, uh, I told he's... you, he pitted, he pitted uh, a few laps here. He's a second. He's about, what, one and a half seconds behind Fred still right now. Yep. Well, we could be seeing a battle for the win here, because it looks like they're not pitting again. Interesting. Let's have a look at the penalties, Callum. That'd be very interesting to see. Yeah. I not looked at that yet. Um... I think they have. I think they have them. I think they are both have the same. Yeah. Reaction does a penalty. Leopard bite's got a penalty. I'm on no. about uh, Fred and Jammy because that's really going to be the battle in this race. Yeah. The academy is still could be exciting. Still could be exciting. <laughs> yeah, there's two drivers getting close to each other, so especially uh, Jack and. Well, Jack Hotwood and Verstappen, Callum, fifth and sixth, yep. having a battle right now. Very close to each other. The sun just looks so nice in broadcast mode when you actually see the skies and stuff. It's very nice to see. Indeed. Just the sky, sky, skyscrapers, as he said, Callum, is just everything about this, uh, about this track. So, oh. I would say this is the... I know Monaco has changed quite a bit since its first ever race, but I think this could be described as the wider modern version of uh, Monaco, would you agree? Yeah, definitely. As Verstappen's on the inside. Yeah, Callum, oh, Callum, oh, Jack Hobbard on the outside, now he's going to try and keep that position from the force in the game, he needs as much points as possible, but no, can't do it. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't had a good corner either, Jack. Um, Jack Hobbard hasn't. So it looks like he's going to have to settle for sixth at the moment, but Leopard bike. What's happened to him, Callum? Because he's down in P7 right now. Yeah, um, I honestly don't have an explanation. He seems to be having a good race. I don't know how he's ended up so far behind, but maybe he's had a spin uh, off camera. Maybe. Bresta has taken the lead. Jamie's yeah, on the back of him, though. Looks like yeah, reaction's in the pit lane, but Jamie's caught him up. Callum, it's a battle for the win. Yep. Get your popcorn out. It's going to be a great 11 laps. 12, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Here we Danny go. Right on the back. The RS. Rest is defending right now, I think. But Jamie's going to have the fresher tyres to Callum, so that's going to help him as well with the uh, attacking, but Fred's star, you seen he's defending early in the Grand Prix, didn't you? Yeah. He knows how to race, that's for sure. Keeping him behind so far. Hey, a wild legend he is. Have a look. Round the corner, this is so, such a night, this is such a flowing track, this section talking about here Callum for flowing it's very I don't know if you if you agree but it's a very flowing um, track yeah just everything fits into place I yeah, swear you just said the layout isn't the best just nah this set this set the, the middle sector is uh, good the first sector is just a bit dull this last sector is this last sector is just 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree Got quite a lot of chicanes on this track as well. Yeah, pretty much every corner is a chicane yeah. on this track. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they got rid of uh, Sling. Singapore Sling is maybe because 
they want to get rid of all the chicanes. But Fred's still going very aggressive here. And he's doing some double moving. But Jammy! Jammy! What a... What, oh, that is... Oh, oh Vince, is, Vince is out. Vince is out of the race. Fred's just seem to just drive across that corner then to keep the lead. Wow. <laughs> Jammy definitely did some good... Good action there for us. This is this is going to be exciting. Fred's down. So I did some double moving now. I'm, I'm not completely sure, but after we'll have to see, Callum. Yep. Getting closer. But if these two battle, uh, side effects and Verstappen now are battling. It looks like Jack Hot was in the pit lane. So, as in the day for him. But Callum, if you want to have a quickly have a look at side effects and for Sapper, they're having a bit of a battle. Even though first and second are. Yeah. Side effects and for Stappen. And then the other Mercedes is a bit further behind with the left hood. Fred Stag, great defensive display so far. Definitely getting an urban unicorn. Yeah from Australia all those weeks ago 14 weeks ago a long time ago yeah Fred's to do an incredible job Eric Boulier definitely going to be happy with the um, coverage time McLaren are bad this race very good here we go then it's going to be a repeat of the last lap yeah Red stuff, very aggressive. Callum. Yep. But definitely yeah, um, getting the job done anyway. Keep this lead, so. Yeah, he needs it for the championship. <laughs> yep, 100%. Oh, Jamie running outside! Jamie running outside, he's going to get hit on the Perfect curve! This is in, nah, this is actually an incredible battle. Like aggressive but barely clean driving for both yeah. these drivers. Obviously if you want to get the win, you gotta be aggressive. But if these two keep battling, he's could open it up for uh, DR Reactions right now, so don't count him out. Yep, Ray Stefan over yet. Yep. Yeah. Jeremy still. Callum, we got a, a great end of the Grand Prix. We did say that it was gonna be better at the end of the race. Especially when yeah. the sun goes down, it's very nice. What, what, what's your opinion on the uh, Twilight race, Callum? <laughs> uh, I think you asked me this before. Well, yeah, you, you, you didn't, you didn't see, uh, you didn't uh, see a Twilight race there. But no, wait, wait, no, no, gonna have to suspend that conversation. Just jammy that trust around the outside. But we can't uh, get the overtake done. He's gonna have to wait. But no, Callum. Um, you didn't see it last time. You didn't actually see a tight race. You, you're in twenty. You're twenty-two laps in. So um, yeah, well, it's yeah. not too light right now, but yeah, it's looking. It's looking good considering it started nice. off bright. Now it's getting darker, especially yeah. with the sun going down. Yeah, definitely reminds you of Abu Dhabi. But so we're gonna stop yeah. talking about how exciting the sun is and let's talk about how exciting this battle is right now as they come through turn number three. And um, Jamie James is going to be all over the back of Visa Word McLaren right now. And oh, all oh, bit of contact. And Jamie had the better um, better pace there, Callum, round the yeah. outside. Had the better speed, but couldn't execute it out of the exit. So now he's going to have to wait. And Jack Hot was left the session. Jack Hot was not happy. Yeah, try and invite him back. No, he's gone off. Nine, I think. No, I don't know if you like to take us through the Yeah, he last on nine one minute ago, so I think he may have disconnected or something. Here we go, here we go up the inside. Ooh. Close, close, close. Great battling right now. Let's have a look at the uh, Let's have a look at the gap um, from reaction. Seventeen seconds, Callum. So that he's caught him by about two two and a half seconds right now. 
you can keep, you can keep doing that. Closer, How many laps is there? Eight laps? Yep. Yeah, so you can um, catch up a little bit more every lap. Jamie just, I mean, just tuck the back of the there as well. Ooh, he's all over the place here. He's trying to get out the... Um, but yeah. DRS for the Red Bull. The action 16.9, so definitely going to have to keep an eye on that on the gap, uh, Callum. You're going to yep. be going to play a factor in if he can catch up or not. All right, not that he's going to catch up. These two, great battle so far. Great battle. Yep, yeah, been battling for the past few laps, and I'm sure this will carry on to the end. Oh, they oh! not, maybe not. Prez was a bit aggressive there again. Big and crash there. lost his chance to win. Jammy's oh, race is over now. Going, it was all going so well for Jammy. I think he might give Prez a bit of shit this, after this race, after his defending, but. Well, I think Fred's has got an easy cruise to victory now, after that. Wow! Another one bites the dust here in Singapore. Jesus, that's... Uh, Lucky disappointing. Lucky his wheel after that. Yeah, disappointing though for Jamie, but... Let's see if he can still get on the podium. We'd, like to, we'd love to speak to him after that, get his views. So, yeah, kind of. Looks uh, like reactions will finish second, and the staff and might get third. Not sure, because maybe Jammy Jammy might go onto a set of ultras. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, he's going to have to have a full wing chase though as well. Yeah, going to be on a set of ultras. As I said before, I'm not. Mm. I do feel sorry for Jamie, but then also feel sorry for Fresno because even though Fresno was aggressive, he should have not been so aggressive, but he's not going to have a good battle for the uh, win now. I know that that's what he wants, and Jamie's just very, very unlucky. Yeah. Let's have a look then for Stappen in P3. If he, if he gets a podium, it's definitely... Mm. Side effects. Mm. Fifth. Oh, not. That's the to fourth after being so far behind before. He's going to fourth place. He's at, he looks like he's catching up to Verstappen as well. Could Leopard get on the podium? Here we go. Potentially. We're rooting for Leopard boy. Track looks to be looking like a normal Singapore night now. It's not been the race that we've. Um, We've wanted here in uh, Singapore as it Callum but uh, nope. kind of expecting it because it wasn't the biggest turnout yeah and also it's Singapore you know it's a street circuit so you can't really yeah. it's one of those things a lot of collisions are going to happen but hopefully Malaysia will, will everyone will be back strong and hoping to uh, really um, yeah just well go for the win <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. Not long now to the end of the 2016 game, either, Callum. Uh, what's your thoughts on the 2017 game? Do you think it could be a good one for league racing? Obviously, we, we don't know anything about it, but with like, the 2017 cars and, and all the hype about the classic cars, what do you think of the uh, 2017 game so far and uh, le it's league racing uh, well, opportunities? I've not played it or seen any game for yet, so I didn't get the beta, but. I'm hoping it'll be good. I'm hoping they fix sort of multiplayer connection issues. Um, yeah. And I'm hoping they f especially fix like things like side pod glitch, the slipstream glitch mainly. I'm sure that is fixed, but you never know. But I, especially with the cars being wider, being faster, I think it's gonna just make league racing that bit more exciting. And uh, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. Well, we should. Um... Well, we'll see, won't we? He's on lap yeah. 26 now. I think all these drivers just want to get this race over and done with. It's obviously the longest race on the calendar. Why 
they have the time as a minute and 41 seconds or whatever one minute four is similar to belgium and it's 31 laps i don't i don't understand it <laughs> yeah very um it's always confused me that kind of i don't know about you but it's, it always has confused me that it's such a long race yeah so it's a long race but it's it's never the most exciting because i don't know although it is possible to overtake you don't you don't tend to see too many battles here the yeah, of the well, it's definitely been shown today but jammy looking very close on the back of leopard now callum so if you want to check this out this could still be a podium yep. for the red bull and jack hot was online so not sure what's happened to him but i think he may have got some connection issues okay well, then callum is he going to get on the podium let's find Tell out me. they've got the one more car ahead of them to get into it. Oh, Leopard Bike going to defend here. Jamie's up the inside, but it's so close on exit of turn number two. Here we go. He's got the overtake done. DRS got the overtake done, so now he's going to go on the back of the Sappen 33. Oh, this is exciting. Let's see how reactions is 11 seconds off the lead. Fred's has got this in the bag now. Verstappen, yeah, Jammy, Leopard still to fight for the podium. I'm sure Verstappen will be wanting it since his looks run out the last few races. Yeah. Who's your third place prediction? Jammy, definitely. Yeah, he's looking like he's got a great pace right now. A look at the arrow reactions. No, I was going to say you could to... maybe even go for P2, but four laps left now. Yeah, so not long, not long to go now. Gone by quite quickly for uh, the longest race in the calendar. <laughs> no, it hasn't, Callum. I found that one last. Ranny outside, straightforward. Wheel banging a bit. Stop is not letting go. Let go now. Could Leopard yeah. still get fourth though? Be interesting. Yep, I think he's got the pace too. I think Jammy's got the podium now, he's gonna run away. Yeah. Best are gonna win two in a row then. Have a look then, Leopard. Callum, do you think he's, he could still get fourth place? Or Yeah, I think he will. Got four ups to do it, so. Depends what Verstappen's tyre tire is like as well. Especially Leopard as well. So I've got a leopard looking um, quite quick. It's got three laps after this one to do. Do that. There you go, Callum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to be so tired of mine. I was hoping for an exciting Grand Prix that would wake me up a bit, but... Wow. So let's hope Malaysia does that for you. Yep. Three and a half laps to go. Two and a half laps to go. Uh, 
Like it's getting a bit closer. I'm sure Jamie will take P3. I mean, he'll be disappointed because uh, he can potentially win this race, but. Yeah, definitely. Leopard bite then, Callum, on the back of the staff in 33. Yep. See if he can do it here. Two ups to go. Like it's getting right up to the back of it now. Yep. Have a look then. So he's gonna try and he just needs to try and just do every corner perfectly and just try and get the position as quick as possible. Yeah. BOS could just help him here if he's got it. Yeah. Have a look then. Oh, he doesn't look close enough at all. No safety no, on this race. We were expecting a couple. No, what, uh, sorry, what? We were expecting a couple of safety cars this race, but not a single one. We had the same thing in F1 last night as well. So. Mm. I don't know if Fluffy Bag's going to get this because he's getting close, but he doesn't seem to be able to keep with him within sector one, which is the yeah. main taking place. Yeah. Yeah. Look where Freister is. End of sector three, or come, yeah, sector three of lap 30, so he's coming on to start his final lap of the Grand Prix. Must be very happy to finally finish what has been a very um, mixed race. It's been boring at times, but then very exciting at times. Yeah, especially the first five laps. Here we go, Verstappen going defensive, but Leopardbite's going to try and go around the outside, but no, can't do it. And then, there you go round, no, no, can't do it, can't do it, Leopard bike here, going to try everything, uh, Callum on this final lap of the Singapore Grand Prix, try and get yep. the fourth place is, here. I think this is his main chance. Yep. He's quite closing. Verstappen's going defensive. Leper's bike is trying to go on the outside, yeah. but you can't do it. Great defending from Verstappen. Mm, yeah, very, very interesting, Callum. Looks like Verstappen yeah. could keep fourth. Fred's is going to win. Where is he on track? Coming, coming through the last few corners. Have a look then, Fredster. Okay, if you want to spectate Fredster. Yep. Obviously, we missed him. Uh, we missed the winner in Italy. Which I think it was Fredster again, I think. Um, I will have a look at... Across the line. For win. And great win there Singapore. for Fredster. Okay, yeah, well. Fireworks. Lovely. Reactions gets P2. Jamie comes home in P3. Great result for him. Leopard's right on the back of Verstappen. I don't think he's going to do it though. No. No, Verstappen. Great right fourth take place for fourth. Verstappen though. Could drop really the penalties. Really close. No, he does not. Very close across the line. Now let's get the podium people in the party. Give them a quick interview. It's going to be quite um, 
mixed. The action's going to be quite happy, and then Jamie and Fredster going to be in the party as well. So the two people that collided in this race. So yeah. your finishing classification um, is as follows. First is the Fred Star, second is Daryl Reactions, third is Jamie James M, fourth is SD with a Sapin 33, fifth is a Leopard Bike 45, and sixth is Side Effects 99. I feel good about that, man. I don't feel good about that. Um, we've got the three podium people. If you'd like to speak up and include your audio, that'd be much appreciated. We're going to go to uh, Jamie James M. We haven't got much time because we're actually going over the limit uh, that we have uh, because of it being the Singapore Grand Prix. But, um, Jamie, uh, hello. Uh, your Hello. first podium in the league um, hasn't yep. been the best of turnout. Uh, hasn't been the best turnout tonight, um, but we uh, good podium from you. Uh, can you explain what happened with you and Fresta? Um, well, there's a lot of things really. Like there was one, there was one incident where I put a move on him into turn one, and he straight line turn two, and I I felt he should have moved over, but he didn't. So I thought, okay, I'll I'll just live with that. Try and get by another time. Uh, then I got a run going into going on that uh, the DRS straight, and I th we just came together at the kink in the straight. So I don't know if that's lag. I don't know if that's him swerving too much. I don't know, but it happened, and I'm quite happy to fight back and come get third. Yeah, great uh, win from you. Um, oh, win. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd like, P3. I'd like it, great P3. <laughs> I feel like I should have Great P3. It, but... um, yeah, great great P3. Um, how are you looking forward to Malaysia? You what? Sorry, it lagged a bit. How are you looking forward to Malaysia? Uh, I might not race because of exams, but I quite like the track, so if I do, hopefully it'll go alright. <laughs> okay. Well, we hope to see you next week in Malaysia and uh, right. come back. <laughs> Your reactions? Um, yep. Your first, I'm guessing this was your first Twilight race around Singapore. Yep. Yeah. Great uh, second place. I always, I always go on about Twilight, but I like to see what people think. What, what was your take on the um, Twilight conditions of the Singapore race tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. I had no problems. The Twilight race was fantastic, to be honest. It's more enjoyable. Mm. So the sun, the sun definitely looks nice, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, reactions. Good second place. Definitely deserved it uh, from the pace he had in, pra in the practice runs. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nothing more really to say. <laughs> just well done. And yeah, second place. Hopefully you can go one better in Malaysia. Yeah. Malaysia is a good. Malaysia is oh, good. So. Okay. Well, hopefully you can uh, get a good result there. Yep. Red Star. Uh, P1 today. <laughs> You say as soon as you joined the party, you weren't happy uh, with um, that. Um, what happened with Jamie? Um, well, turn one, I felt like he sort of dive bombed me a bit on my screen. And what from what I saw was he wasn't going to make that corner because he was so close to the inside. He was basically just going to go straight. So I decided to avoid it in the hope that he wouldn't crash because I don't want to make a crash. And then um, I had to go wide to avoid him. So I thought... If it was if it was him that caused me to go wide, I shouldn't have to give the place back. And then um, the instant we had down the straight, because he, he he went for a few dive bombs, which I didn't I wasn't really happy with, so I defended a bit more aggressively. And um, we were like basically side by side. I didn't I didn't turn right on him. I know it might have looked like it, but it definitely wasn't. I kept straight. And then our wheels attached. It was like a bit of a contact system. It was really annoying because I saw him going to the wall, and I was like, oh for fuck's sakes. I mean, I'm sorry anyway, I, I just hate how it's the ah, game that's like right. that sometimes. It's alright. Because we, we were having a sick battle, but um, yeah, it's yeah. just a shame that the fucking contact system ruins it again. It's, it's just lag, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not too bothered 20... anyway. Sorry. 25 points, Fred Star. Yeah. Can you win the championship? No. I don't know, I don't even know, I don't even know what the gap is. Because um, Jack didn't get any points because he, he left the race, even though he finished like seventh. But I should check out for you, but it's definitely under 50. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Just to get it. I mean, today, no. I would I would say I wasn't a deserved 25 points because Jamie was the faster driver on the end of the day. But when lag plays its part, I can't really do anything about that. But hopefully, 
it doesn't play a part. And when he does come back to race, if it's Malaysia or whatever, we can have a good battle because a bit more open space, so I can give him room, unlike this track. I have something to say about that championship. You're not going for it. You'll have to pass me first. Ooh, <laughs> cheeky! <laughs> okay, then. Well, thank you to all our podium uh, finishers. Just like to say thank you to all you three as well and all the other drivers that have finished the Grand Prix. We know it wasn't the best to turn out tonight, but hopefully that should be sorted for um, Malaysia. Uh, obviously, J- Jamie exams. So, obviously, June is the prime month for exams. So, unfortunately, we can't get, um, we, we're not going to get very good turnouts for the next one or two races maybe and it should uh, really do good for the final like four races of the season but thank you ever so much um the top three drivers great race uh, at times uh, a lot of good battles Callum what's your final um overview of the Grand Prix before we wrap up um yeah it was a it was a interesting race for some parts and uh some parts it was boring but uh, my tail <laughs> was a pretty It was pretty. Cool. I know it was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up the Singapore Grand Prix from Marine Innovation. Malaysia, Monday F1 division. Always good um, right Malaysian Grand Prix. I don't worry about it, Callum. Right. Good race, full stop. So join us next week for the F1 Division Malaysian Grand Prix and this time next week for the GP2 Malaysian Grand Prix. I hope I haven't said the same thing there, but yeah. Join us next next week, Monday and Tuesday, for the league's Malaysian Grand Prix. We'll see you then. Goodbye.